o ba wa soro o si wa ni eti o si wa ni opolo fun ojo waju akwa agbosile ni Hey darlings, hey beautiful. It's always a pleasure, a pleasure to be out and about. And tonight is fun and fun and fun. We're here for the premiere of the movie uh, Blue June. Now, Blue June is a political satire about um, a philanthropist businessman who decides to go into politics because he has a love of the people. And in the process, they're trying to overthrow a military regime back to civilian regime where of course there's democracy and the movies are timely because don't forget 2023 is the elections happening in Nigeria and I'm super excited so let's go chat with a few people and see what their thoughts are not just about this movie but the coming election I'm La Bevitian and you're watching I'm forward if a civilian is ever going to rule this state. It has to be someone like you. Me. Gentlemen, purpose of this meeting is to form a merger. I must be very honest with you, Kashoro is a very strong opponent. Omodefe, Agbanfe. Are you doing this because you want to become the first lady? We're talking about being the first citizen of the state and me. The first lady. I have decided uh, to run for the election. Tasha Rania, for the peace of the people, for the development of the state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will set a date for another election. And according to what I've seen so far, we have a free and fair election for the first time in the state. This is not fair! My name is Larry Adedura, I'm an actor, filmmaker, and of course, one of the cast members of A True Blue June, the movie. Today, the 12th of June, we're here to premiere the movie of all time. A movie that is historical, that has gone down memory lane to tell us the story behind June 12. True Blue June is a movie. Trust me, it is different. It is different. <laughs> <laughs> all right, have you seen the trailer of this movie? Thank you very much. Have you seen the trailer of this movie? Yes, I did, and that's the reason why I'm here. It's talking about politics, right? From transitioning from um, the military regime into civil regime. Do you think it's very timely given the fact that elections is coming up 2023? Hmm. You know, anytime it comes to politics, I'm always tight lipped because we don't know it's you. I don't know whether you are uh, you are an aspirant or not, but the only thing I'm going to say is that it's just. It's a clip of what we're expecting. Election is coming up 2023. What are your thoughts? Well, for me, it's just a... I'm here, basically, to support the family. Secondly, to understand that, you know, when you take artistry like this and it's representing history, a part of our culture, it's just amazing because this is something that posterity will hold. It's going to be there forever, to be always, I mean, to be to be um, a part of what's called a recallable history. So for me, I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy to be soaking up the atmosphere. It's amazing. Look around here. It's bubbling. And I can't wait to get in there and devour the movie. Oh, my dear, are you doing this because you want to become the first lady? Hi guys, I'm here with a lady, the incredible lady that did the soundtrack for this movie. Good evening. I love singing soundtrack into great movies. It gives them inspiration. You will love it. The 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 war story is very interesting. So it gives me the energy to sing the soundtrack. If you were the president of Nigeria, what is the what are the major things that you would want to change? Well, um, we all know that the level of unemployment in Nigeria is really high. So I think 
I will work towards making the youth more productive and, you know, um, make manpower available for a lot of youth, a lot of graduates in Nigeria, basically. Awesome, awesome. Have you registered about? Yes. PVC, yes, I've got in mind. Yes, I've, I have. Are you part of this movie? I'm not part of the movie. But you've seen the trailer. I've, not, I've seen the trailer, but I'm anticipating to watch the whole movie. Let's talk about 2023. I mean, given the fact that the movie is about election, right? Let's talk about 2023. Who do you think is going to win? Like the best candidates win for now. <laughs> Tell me, what was your experience on this particular set? Because it seems the setting seems a little bit different from the regular stories uh, that you do. Well, it's actually, again, I'll say this, uh, more like a, a political satire. Um, people have experienced it in this nation, but they're actually not seeing it uh, in an art form yet. Yeah. So I'm guessing this is probably the only first one they ever see uh, as an art form to present it to them via film. It was kind of very demanding, you know. Yeah. And, um, you know, I just have to take the job and I really enjoyed it. I, I can see, I can see. <laughs> I will set a date for another election. And according to what I've seen so far, we have a free and fair election for the first time in the state. This is not fair! I will not talk on you. I will you. Yes, sir. Are we still in power? Very well, sir. Good. Hi, my name is Jimmy Black, and you're watching a Forever Television. That is, if you want to be happy forever, watch Ah Forever.